Charles Bukowski. Post Office really loved it. Great self-help book. It's about this guy who's a womanizing, alcoholic, gambling loser. I really enjoyed it. The fact is, this dude was 50, alcoholic, waking up, passed out, drunk, trying to get to work, trying to get out of work. At 50, he wrote this book. And I love the fact that at the beginning, he has... This is presented as a work of fiction and dedicated to nobody. He got to a point where he just didn't care anymore. He was 50, a loser, and he embraced it. So he had a chance to either stay in the post office and go crazy, or just accept that he was an alcoholic loser and try and make it as a writer. And this was his first book. Um, and it's, it's really interesting because he was just accepting who he was and just telling the world, I just don't care what you think of me. So it was really, really powerful just to journey with this guy in the post office. It was set in the 60s back where they had to sort the letters. And it was interesting looking at back in the day how they used to do that, put it put their little knapsack on and try and strutch through the streets doing the letters. He was meeting up with women and getting on different routes and stuff like that. Um, interestingly enough for me, this was like hanging out with my grandfather. Alcoholic, womanizing, horse racing addict. Um, my grandfather said to me once, when I was really young, Paul, I'll tell you one thing about women. Why buy a book when you can join a library? And that stayed with me. Um, so this was quite an empowering book, um, I found. I was drinking quite a bit when I was reading this book, and I was like, hang on, this is going to empower me to... Um, really embrace my my drinking side but hanging out with a dude who was like my grandfather made me think about my family history and think about where he dude ends up actually caused me to embrace who i am more and I, that's what i really like about this book embracing who you are and i found through that my drinking actually slowed down a bit. I haven't stopped drinking. It reminds me of what Lemmy from Motorhead said once. He was talking to a mate of his who he was worried about being an alcoholic. Lemmy said to him, hey mate, it doesn't matter what you drink. It doesn't matter how much you drink, but it matters how fast you drink. So, if, if you, going down the alcohol road think about that um i have and it was good and this book has actually caused me to actually not drink as much which is really really interesting so maybe you should read it as well um which is good and i'll be reviewing some other books coming up of course with the normal weekly daily stoic always happening the next book i'll be talking about will be something different bully one of the girls at work got me to read this you'll hear about that later anyway see you guys on the flip side